Let's solve problems using trigonometric functions. Let's have this example number one. A 12-foot ladder is resting against the wall and makes an angle of 52 degrees to width ground. Find the height to which the ladder will reach on the wall. So the first thing that we need to do is to illustrate the problem. So let's have this illustration. Now, a 12-foot ladder, so meaning the length of the ladder is 12 feet. This is resting against the wall that makes 52 degree with the ground. So meaning this is 52 degree. Then find the height to which the ladder will reach on the wall. So meaning this is a known. So if this is 52 degree, using the trigonometric function, the unknown is opposite the 52 degree and the known value is the hypotenuse, the 12 feet. So meaning we can make use of the sine. The sine is opposite over the hypotenuse. So the opposite, let this be x, and the hypotenuse is 12. So that is sine 52 is equal to x over 12. So this is the x, and this is the hypotenuse, which is 12. So just cross multiply. So we have now x is equal to sine 52 times 12. This is equal now to x is equal to 9.46 feet. So meaning the height to which the ladder reach on the wall is 9.46 feet. Let's have this example number two. Find the distance AB across the marsh shown in the accompanying figure. So meaning this is a no. So if this is 90 degree, meaning opposite that side is the hypotenuse. Now, if this is our reference angle, the 52 degree, the unknown is the opposite. And we have the known value for adjacent side, which is 31 meters. So we are asked to find the distance of the side AB. So if this is 52 degree, this is opposite, and we have the value for the adjacent, again, we can make use of the tangent theta. So tangent 52 degree, that is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So let x be the opposite over the adjacent, which is 31 meters. So that is now tangent 52 degree is equal to x over 31. Now cross multiply. So we have x is equal to tangent 52 times 31. That is equal to 39.68 meters. So meaning the distance of AB across the marsh is 39.68 meters. Now let's have this example number three. A skateboarder wishes to build a jump ramp that is inclined at a 19 degree angle and that has a maximum height of 32 inches. Find the horizontal width x of the ramp. So let us illustrate the problem. So the ramp is inclined at 19 degree angle. The maximum height is 32 inches and we are asked to find the horizontal width x of the ramp. This is the 90 degree, this is the hypotenuse. Now, if this, is our, if this is our reference angle, this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent side. So we can make use of tangent again. So that is tangent is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So the opposite is known. So that is 32 over the adjacent, which is x. Now, just cross multiply, or just cross multiply, tangent 19 degree times x, equals to 32. Now divide both sides of the equation by tangent 19. Then we can cancel out tangent 19. What's left is x. So 32 divided by tangent 19, x is equal to 92.93 inches. So meaning the horizontal width of the ramp is 92.93 inches. Now let's have this example number four. A tree broken over by the wind forms a triangle with a ground. If the broken part makes an angle of 50 degree with a ground and the top of the tree is now 20 feet from its base, how tall was the tree? So let us illustrate the problem. Okay, so a tree broken over by the wind forms a right triangle. Okay, so if the broken part makes an angle of 50 degree with the ground, so meaning this is 50 degree, and the top of the tree is now 20 feet away from the base. So this is the top of the tree, 20 feet away from the base. How tall was the tree? So meaning we are asked to solve for this and for this. So we're going to add the length of the hypotenuse and the length of 
the opposite of the 50 degree. So let this be x and let this be y. So to find y, that is, so y is opposite 50 and the known value and the known length is the adjacent. So we can make use of the tangent towa. So this is opposite over the adjacent. So that is tangent 50 degree is equal to y over 20. So just cross multiply, we have now y is equal to tangent 50 times 20 y is equal to 23.84 feet. So meaning this, the length of this is 23.84 feet. Now we need to find the length of this so that we can find the height of the tree. So to find x, so this is a known and we have the known value for the adjacent. So this is hypotenuse, this is adjacent, we can make use of the cosine. So cosine that is adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent is 20 and the hypotenuse is a known. Now just cross multiply. We have 50, we have cosine 50 times x is equal to 20. Now divide both sides of the equation by cosine 50. Now cancel cosine 50. What's left is x. Now we have 20 over cosine 50. So 20 divided by cosine 50 x is equal to 31.11 feet. So meaning the length of this is equal to 31.11 feet. Now we, we can now solve for the height of the tree. So for to find the height of the tree, we just need to add the x and y. So x is equal to 31.11 and the y is 23.84. Now 31.11 plus 23.84, the height of the tree, is 54.95 feet. Thank you.